I believe that platform business models are coming to security as well at this point in time in a very big way. And there are four specific ways in which platform business models will start creating an impact and start dominating the security industry as well moving forward. We talked about the various positions, distribution partners, capability providers, platform owners. There are opportunities for every company to play in this new scenario where platform business models start coming in in security. Let's look at a few examples of how this is happening right now. So the first way in which companies can benefit from the platform economy in security is by acting as capability providers. I talked about how Google has Google Maps, which is an important capability that it provides to the handset manufacturing industry, as well as to the self-driving car industry. So if you have an important capability, you can license it to other players, and you can create a strong business around that in a platform economy. The reason this is becoming important here today, uh, in, in this industry in particular, is because with improvements in computer vision and with the rise of video, which is largely driven by uh, really good connectivity because people create content when they're able to share content. And as connectivity improves, the amount of video that is created increases and the amount of training sets available for algorithms increases as well. So with improvements in computer vision, we now have the ability to mine video feeds and make much more sense of what's happening in those video feeds. And if you look at Amazon, Amazon is betting big on becoming an, a capability provider for the platform economy and security. So if you think of Amazon Kinesis, it's essentially a data platform where anybody can bring in their video feeds, get it analyzed. But at the back end, there's obviously Amazon learning from all of this analysis, creating strong recognition models. And then there's Amazon recognition that takes all of these models and allows a third-party platform, a third-party application to use the, these models as part of their uh, uh, technology, as part of their product. And so in all of these cases, Amazon is trying to create a data platform, but is also distributing this capability to third-party application developers and even third-party platform creators. The second big opportunity in security is to actually look at the end user and provide a user-centered ecosystem for security. And this is where I believe Amazon has another important play because Amazon has a very strong play targeted at home owners in particular. One way to think about Amazon is that Amazon is the world's biggest store. And a lot of people think that Amazon is so successful because all of the other merchants are also on Amazon. But the, the, the real thing that differentiates Amazon's success is not the fact that it has all these merchants, but that it has a lock-in on the home owner. The home owner is logged into the Amazon ecosystem. And Amazon does this in, in a, through a variety of mechanisms. The first thing it does is it offers Amazon Prime. So if you get two-day delivery, you want to buy from Amazon rather than from somebody else. The more people get onto Amazon Prime, the more they are locked into that ecosystem. The second thing Amazon does is Amazon puts an, a, a device in your home that understands you really well, the Echo, which is built of Alexa. So Alexa essentially becomes the center of all of your needs that you can express through voice. And then Amazon is, is now looking at other things like finance. Amazon is getting into home finance, home insurance. It's hired a head of mortgage. The reason all of this is important, that it's not about security, but the reason it's important is that Amazon's strategic focus is on locking in the home owner. What Amazon does next is if you buy Prime, you also get videos and music. So you don't go to Netflix. You don't go to somebody else. Uh, like Spotify, you stay within the Amazon lock-in ecosystem. If you buy Alexa, the rest of your smart home works with Alexa. Over the last five years, companies like GE, Philips, um, Samsung, all of them tried to create a smart home platform. But today, the dominant smart home platform is Alexa. So across all of this, Amazon creates a bigger lock-in on, on, on the home owner. And where it's headed next is essentially security. A Amazon is trying to get into the smart doorbell, the smart lock. It helps to get the package in the door if you have access to the smart lock. Amazon has the ability to mine videos. So security is very central to where Amazon is headed because security helps to lock in the home owner even further. So the second big opportunity is to look at how you could serve the end user and try to identify how you could 
create an ecosystem of security services towards the end user. The third big opportunity is that if you don't serve the end user, you could work further up the value chain with all of your partners. And this is where uh, several companies, including Milestone, are building out their platform, working with various partners. And essentially, in this case, what happens is that the platform creates a common industry-level coordination mechanism. It creates the mechanism for all other partners to work alongside the platform and build their business on top of the platform and scale as the platform scales, benefit from network effects. So if you think of a value chain coordination platform, manufacturers who connect to the platform would provide their data feeds to the platform, which would then attract developers, and it would then help to, uh, and integrators would then help to take it to market. So more manufacturers attracting more developers make it more valuable for integrators to take it to the market, and a whole reinforcing network effect gets created. So it's, this is the third big opportunity, if you will, um, that we would see in the security industry in the platform economy. And the fourth opportunity that's, that I believe will be increasingly important is to create data-dominant platforms in the security industry. This is what I think of as building the ways for security. So if you think of Google Maps, Google collected all that data. But if you think of ways, Waze collected all of the data about traffic information from users. That's what we'll start seeing in security as well. It's already happening in China, and that's what we'll start seeing in security, where the most successful security data platforms would in some way leverage crowdsourcing of data as well. So essentially, the idea of showing all of these four examples, the four business models, was to illustrate where security is headed and why the platform economy is now coming into security. And if we look at other industries where this has happened before, companies that want to win in this economy will have to work as part of an ecosystem. They will have to either run the platform or work as capability providers, providing important components, work as distribution partners. And if they don't choose one of these positions, they risk getting commoditized. And so security, like a lot of hard problems today, cannot be solved by one single company. It has to be an ecosystem of partners that work together around a platform to solve this challenge.